In this lesson, we're going to be expanding on the previous funky bass drum independence exercises, using not just one and two note combinations, but also looking at playing groups of three or four notes. Let's start with a basic exercise to practice playing some bass drum notes with the hi-hat and also some notes independent of the hi-hat. Remember, keep it nice and slow and concentrate on accurately playing with and in between the hi-hat notes. Exercise 1 One, two, three, four. If you haven't done so already, be sure to check out the previous video, Funky Bass Drum Independence with Backbeat, Part 1. It's a primer for all the exercises we're about to deal with, and a must for sorting out basic hi-hat and bass drum independence. OK, first we're going to look at some three-note exercises where the bass drum happens before the snare drum backbeat on beat four. Exercise two. One, two, three. Four. Exercise three. One, two, three, four. Exercise four. One, two, three, four. Exercise five. One, two, Three, four. Be careful with this next exercise as it features four bass drum notes. Make sure that your hi hat hand is still just playing eighth notes and not duplicating the bass drum part. In essence, your foot should be playing exactly twice as fast as your hand. Exercise 6 1, 2, 3, 4 So far, we've studied all of the possible 16th note placements of 1, 2, 3 and 4 note bass drum figures before the backbeat. So now, in order to develop even more control, we'll look at all the bass drum placements that can happen after the snare drum backbeat. Just to get these started, we'll play a bass drum on beat 1 and 3 but the bit to focus your attention on should be after the snare on beat 4. Exercise 7 1, 2, 3, 4 Exercise 8 One, two, three, four.
Exercise 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. Exercise 10. One, two, three, four. Exercise 11. One, two, three, four. Exercise 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. Once you've got the hang of these exercises, try and expand upon them by mixing and matching the different groupings together. For example, here's a mixture of exercises 3, 4 and 7. Exercise 13. 1, 2, 3, 4. As always, you should use a metronome or click with these exercises and try to be really precise in getting all the notes perfectly placed so that not only your timekeeping but also your feel are consistent in terms of sound texture and volume. When you're sure that things are in with the click and sounding good, try adding some fills or playing along to some slow funk grooves. Good luck, and bye for now.